Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to be showing you how to factorize using quadratics. So as we can see here, we have three terms, one, two, three. And here are the terms. So here's our first, here's our second, and here's our third. And what I mean by terms is that it's broken up by a sign, like a plus or a minus, like here. So these minuses here break up and start us into a new term. So we have term two here, then there's another break and we start with term three. So there's three terms here. Okay, and how do we know it's a quadratic? Well, a quadratic has to fill a very special obligation. And that is that there's an X squared, there's an X and there's a number. And if we check here, we have that. We have an X squared, we have an X and we have a number. So we know this is definitely a quadratic. Three terms, X squared, X and a number. Okay, now on to how we solve the quadratic. So we must look at the first term and the last term and get their factors. So for two X squared, we do the number part first. So the factors of two are two and one and the factors of X squared are X by X. And that's our first term done. Now we move on to the second term. It's minus 18. So we always start with our factor of one first and move our way down. So it can be minus one by 18. It could be minus two by nine, or it could be minus three by six. So as you can see, I'm going up here, one, two, three, and so on for each factor. Obviously it can also be minus 18 for example plus 1 or minus 9 plus 2 or minus 6 plus 3 but just for the start I'm going to make our top line negative and then we can switch around. Okay next up what we need to do is we're going to have to cross multiply to try get the term in the middle the minus 9x. Okay so if we start off with the 2x by 18 first of all. So we want to cross multiply. So 2x by 18 will give us 36x and we've minus one by x and that'll give us minus x. So 36x minus x is 35x and that's very far from what we want here, the minus nine x. So okay, so we'll try minus 18 and plus one. So that'll give us minus 36x and plus one by x will give us plus x. That gives us minus 35x. So again, very far from what we want here in the middle of minus nine x. So next we'll move on to minus two times one x. We get minus two x and nine by two is plus 18x. So that will give us 16x, again, very far from what we want of minus nine, but we're getting closer than what we were with 35 and minus 35. If we were to switch it around and do plus two minus nine, we'll just get minus 16. So it'll be the same thing, just minus 16. So minus nine by plus two is minus 18 and plus two x is minus 16 x. Okay, right, so we've ruled out both of these options. We're now on to minus three and plus six. So I'll just rub out here to make a bit of room. And we can see here that if we multiply six by two, we get 12 X. And if we have minus three by X, we have minus three X. So 12 minus three, gives us 9x, so we're really close. We need minus nine. So we'll again change around the signs, so we'll have plus three and minus six. So plus two minus six gives us minus 12x, and plus three by x is plus three x, and that gives us what we want in the middle of minus nine x. So we know that this is the pair we are going to choose here, plus three and minus six. All we have to do then is join them up. So we join up the pairs that we picked, the 2x and the 1x and the plus three and the minus six. We join them up going across ways to give us our final answer of 2x plus three and x 
minus 6. And that's how you factorize using quadratics.